Hi. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. How are you today? How are you today? I'm great, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Jonathan, so welcome to the class. Claudia, Alfa, Brenda, Olga, Alejandro, Eliseo, Delmi, Jocelyn. <laughs> welcome again. It's nice to see you tonight. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? ¿Descansaron mucho? Fantastic. It was fantastic. That's great. Very good. Very good. Okay, that's great too. Good teacher. It was good. Excellent. Okay, I hope that you have a great time with your family at home and uh, during this uh, last weekend. So welcome again to this English court. We are going to start tonight the section number four. So during this week, that is our goal, to finish the section number four. Durante esta semana, el objetivo es terminar la sección número cuatro. You have to solve all the exercises in this section. Okay? So do you have any question about the platform exercises? Any question, any problem? No problem, no problem. Okay, no problem, no questions, that's great. Then, section number four. Let's start with this class. Welcome again, and here we go. Tonight we're going to study clothes and colors. Clothes and colors. Do you know some vocabulary about colors? Do you already know some colors in English? ¿Conocen ya algunos colores en inglés? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. And you say all of them, teacher. Todos ellos, teacher. That's great. And what about clothes? Clothes vocabulary. Do you know some clothes vocabulary? Vocabulario acerca de la ropa que usamos todos los días. Okay. That is the topic for tonight. We are going to study that tonight, so don't worry. Let's start then with the class. Here is the topic, clot and color. I am sharing with you my screen, so let me know, please, if you can see it. Can you already see my screen? Ya pueden ver la presentación, me avisan, por favor. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, thank you so much. So let's start. Clots and colors. So this is the goal for tonight. I have two objectives in this class with the clots vocabulary, particularly clots which you wear for work and for leisure. In this class, you will learn the colors and how this topic is used in daily life. So that is the objective for tonight. So let's start. Let's take a look at this vocabulary. We are going to listen this word and then we are going to practice. Okay. Okay, so we are going to listen the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt, jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress. Okay, do you have to use uh, these cloth? when you have to go work? Do you wear this cloth? ¿A quién le toca utilizar corbata, tie, 
para ir al trabajo. Shirt, camisa formal. ¿Quién tiene que utilizar camisa formal? Shirt. The men. Ok, the men, yes. Oh, what about belt? En este grupo, todos utilizamos belt. Todos los caballeros usan oh. cinto para ir no. a trabajar. No. No, 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 Ah, ok. No necessarily. Hey, what about jacket? Jacket, tie. In shoes. Formal shoes. O casual shoes. Tienen que ir con zapatos formales los caballeros. Yes. Yes, ok. And what about the skirts? Do you have to use blouse, scarf, skirt, and high heels? Oh, the, the woman. Oh, the woman, ok. ¿Quién tiene que utilizar high heels en su trabajo? ¿Quién utiliza zapatos uh, de tacón en su trabajo? The woman. The yes, woman. Uh, The women. Pero acá, acá en los que estamos en el grupo, en la clase el día de hoy, ¿a quién le toca ir así de formal? Oh. No, no tan formal. No. <laughs> no. Ah, ok. That's great. So then we have dress, right? Vestido abajo en raincoat. Abrigo para la lluvia. Do you have any question about this vocabulary? Shirt, eh, camisa, tie, corbata, belt, cinturón, jacket, eh, la chaqueta o el saco, pants, eh, pantalones, eh, coat, abrigo, shoes, zapatos. In the women, we have blouse, scarf, the, blusa, the women. blusa, scarf, una bufanda, skirt, una falda, high heel, shoes. Zapatos de tacón, raincoat, abrigo para la lluvia, and dress, vestido. Now let's listen, leisure time, clothes. Clothes for leisure. Hat. Sweater. Jeans. Gloves. Boots. T-shirt. Shorts. Socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Now is your. Okay, now we have in this part of the leisure time a uh, clot eh, para el tiempo libre. That is the meaning of leisure, tiempo libre. So sometimes we use hat, sweater, gloves, boots, and jeans. In the case of the men, we use cap, t-shirts, shorts, socks, and sneakers. And also pajamas and swimsuit. So that's it. Now, can you tell me please to name these? Let's go to the next slide, please. And help me to name the following clubs. Uh, before to go to the exercise, I have these sentences for you. The verb word. The verb wear in Spanish means usar o llevar puesto. So let's see, I wear a tie for work. What is the meaning of this sentence? I wear a tie for work. Lo que me pongo para el trabajo. Por lo la cincha que me pongo para el trabajo. Okay, very good try, but not really. I wear a tie for work is yo uso una corbata para el trabajo. I wear a tie for work. Let's see the other one. I wear jeans to go to the park. Uso jeans para ir. para ir al parque. Let's see the other one. I wear a cap to go to the stadium. Una gorra para ir al estadio. Yes, yeah, so I wear is the verb. Yo utilizo. Yo llevo puesto una gorra para ir al estadio. Let's see the other one. I wear a suit for work. A suit es un traje formal, so I wear a suit for work. And the next one, I wear sandals at home. And the last one, I wear sneakers at home. 
So sí. the verb wear sí. es el, el verbo wear es el que vamos a utilizar para decir yo uso, yo llevo puesto. I wear a tie for work. I wear jeans to go to the park. I wear a cap to go to the stadium. I wear a suit for work. I wear sandals at home. I wear sneakers at home. Any volunteer to read these sentences? Who wants to help me to read these sentences? One, two, and three, please. Thank you, Jonathan. I wear a tie for work. I wear a jeans, perdón. I wear jeans to go to the park. I wear a cap to go to the stadium. Thank you so much. Uh, I have another volunteer. So tell me, Alexandra, can you please read the number four, five, and six? I wear a suit for work. I will sell at home. And the last one? I wear, I wear a sneaker at home. I wear a sneaker at home. Thank you so much. Now, Christopher, do you have a question or do you want to participate? I participate. Okay, number one, two, and three, please. Okay. I wear a tie for work. I wear jeans to go to the park. And I wear a cap to go to the study the stadium. 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 To go to the stadium. Okay, thank you so much. And the last volunteer to read the last three sentences who wants to participate tonight. Just one more. Thank you, Emmanuel Garcia. I wear suit for work. I wear sandal at home. I wear sneaker at home. Okay, thank you so much. Now let's go with the next exercise. Great job, thank you. So look at these colors. You say that you already know the colors, right? So I have a lot of colors here for you to know. And I have white, dark gray, brown, light gray, beige, dark brown, gray, light brown, and black. So what color is light, light gray? Light gray? Gris. Oh, okay. Es un gris, pero tiene light, light gray. Gris claro. Gris claro. Ah, ok, así es. La palabra light, eh, cuando queremos decir que un color es claro, entonces utilizamos light. Y si queremos decir que el color es más oscuro de lo normal, vamos a utilizar dark, dark gray. So, as you can see, I have gray, sería el gris normal. Then I have light gray, un gris más claro. And then I have dark gray, un gris más oscuro. Entonces vamos a utilizar esos dos, esos dos adjetivos, light and dark. Light and dark. Para decir que un color es más claro y, o más oscuro. Then we have dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black. And I have the other color here. Red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, and dark blue. And finally, purple. Dark blue, dark, light gray, light gray. Okay, so... Let's listen the colors. Let's listen the colors and then we are going to practice. So listen. Repeat. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink, orange, yellow, 
light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Now. Okay. Now, look at this question. What are your favorite colors? De todos estos, estos colores. ¿Cuáles son sus favoritos? What are your favorite colors? Any volunteer to answer this question? And the answer is going to start with my favorite colors are. And then you say the colors that you like. What are your favorite colors? Is the question. Okay, I have one volunteer. Any volunteer to answer the question? Tell me, Alexandra, thank you. So tell me, tell me, what are your favorite colors? My favorite is yellow. Okay, solo uno tiene, just yellow. Pink. Ah, okay. Green. And green. Okay, yellow, pink, and green. Thank you so much. So the question is in plural. So what are your favorite colors? So you have to say two or more than two. So you say my favorite colors are, and then you say the colors that you like. Any other volunteer? Thank you, Delhi. Excellent job. Thank you. You say pink, green, and also, well, what's the other one? Pink, green, and blue. Any other volunteer to answer this question? What are your favorite colors? Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Delmi, puede hacerle la pregunta a Jonathan, por favor? Delmi, ask the question to Jonathan. Jonathan, what are your favorite colors? My favorite colors are uh, gray and black. Okay, thank you so much. You say gray and black. Thank you. Any other answer? What are your favorite colors? Any other volunteer? It's time for you to practice the last volunteer and then we're going to move. Thank you, Emmanuel. So Jonathan, can you ask the question to Emmanuel, please? Hello, Jonathan. Can you ask the question to Emmanuel? Okay. What are your favorite colors? Hi, my favorite colors are light green and light blue. Thank you so much. You say light green and light blue. Those are great colors. So here in the chat, I have to answer. Christopher Basque says my favorite color is black. Claudia. Jeronimo says, my favorite colors are black, white, and red. That's nice. Thank you for your answer, guys. So, repeat. What can you, any volunteer tell me these colors? Thank you. Let's see. I have two volunteers. The name of this color, Christopher Vasquez is the first one. Can you please tell me the name of each color? Well, all son of them. Yellow, orange, um, green, dark green. Eh, el otro es más verde que el otro. Oh, el I guess light green. Both are light green, I guess. Ah, okay. <clears throat> eh, ah, pues serían este entonces dark green. Eh, Next. Blue, light blue. Excellent, light blue, thank you. Blue. Purple. Eh, dark purple. Red, orange, brown, dark brown, black, and light 
Oh, uh, no, 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 sorry. Green, uh, gray, gray. Okay, Christopher, thank you so much. That was great. So I have another volunteer here. Then, Alexandra, do you want to try? Tell me. Uh, yellow. Like yellow. Or light green. Dark green. Light blue. Blue. Purple. Light purple. Oh, red. Orange. Light brown. Dark brown. Dark brown. Black. And gray. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, this one is it a light purple and this is purple. And probably this is brown. This is light brown and dark brown. So here is yellow and orange in this one. Okay, teacher, great. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much. Very good try. Uh, any other volunteer to practice in this part? I have a Julia. Julia, do you want to participate? Tell me the color. So let's start over here. Okay, teacher. Eh, bueno, eh, lo voy a decir en español. Para mí se ven distintos los colores y creo que eso es lo que nos está pasando a todos, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, and for me is yellow. Ah, okay, eh, that's great. Eh, light orange, light mm -hmm. green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, eh, dark blue, purple, red, orange, light brown, brown, black, and gray. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, the tea I have. Okay, Olga and then Jonathan. Olga, do you want to participate or do you have a question? Um, orange, uh, brown, dark brown, uh, yellow, uh, light yellow. Um, green, light green. Mm -hmm. The next. Um, uh, dark, dark, dark green. Excellent, thank you. Um, light, bl light blue. Um, Purple. Okay, thank you. Purple. Um, lo digo todos. Pur this is this purple. is the last one. Purple. This is the last one. Uh, red. Red. Okay, thank you, Olga. Thank you so much. So, Jonathan, do you want to try? Okay, let's start over here, please. Yeah. Gray. Gray. Black. Dark brown. Light brown. Orange. Red. And fuchsia. Okay. Purple. Blue. Light blue. Green. Uh, Light, light green, dark yellow, light yellow. Okay, that's great, that's great. Okay, these are the basic color, right? Colors, there are a lot of colors. I muchísimos colores. So we have aqua, ocre, gold, silver, and a lot of colors. Como dice un dicho por ahí, para gusto los colores. There are many, many colors. So these are the basic ones. 
So you can increase your vocabulary investigating, right? Which are the name of the rest of the colors. There are a lot. You are going to be surprised. There are a lot of colors named. So you say fuchsia, it's another one. So violet, other people say, right? To purple, violet. So let's say the color of the following cloth. Can you please tell me the name of the cloth and the color? Let's see, for example, what color is it? Purple. What is it? Okay, what is it? You hot say purple. it's a purple hat. So to say the color of the tint in English, the color is purple. So the answer is a purple hat. It's a purple hat. And what color is, let's see the next. Oh, what is it? Cat. The red cat. It's a red cat. Okay, excellent. So you say it. You say it's a red. It's a red cap. So I'm going to I'm going to point and you are going to tell me the name of the cloth and the color. Let's see this one, for example. What is it? It's a it's a green t-shirt. Okay, it's a light green light, or green light t-shirt? Green. Light green. Light, light green. green. Light okay. green. Okay, what is it? Brown coat. Dark okay. gray. Brown. It could be gray, brown, or even black. <laughs> or even Dark black. Gray. Okay, it's a dark gray coat. That's great. What about this? It's um orange dress. At, no, a orange dress. It's, it's an orange. It's an orange dress. Good. What about this? It's a green skirt. It's a green skirt. Okay, what about this one? Jeans. Jeans. It's a blue. It's a blue. It's, it's blue. Okay, it's just a... look at this. Jeans is in plural, entonces no vamos a decir it. Vamos a decir their. Their. Their blue jeans. Their blue jeans. Si es plural, let's see, for example, here. Uh, these ones. Their socks. Their socks. Their socks. And the color? Oh, no. Their light brown socks. Light brown. Okay. Oh, it's yellow. Sí. Their. You say they are like brown socks. They are like brown socks. And what about this one? What about this other one? They are light blue boots. Okay, they are light blue boots. Excellent. And what about this one? A red sneaker. Okay, they are red sneakers. What happened? There are two colors. If there are two colors, like in this case, we have two right. colors here. Red or white. Okay, then we're going to use and. So they are red and white sneakers. They are red and white sneakers. Okay, do you have any question? Um, I can repeat the pronunciation uh, swim suit. Swim suit. Swim suit. Swim suit. Yes, swim suit. Okay. 
Okay, thank you for your question. If you don't have any other question, let's go with the next exercise here. We're continuing practicing this topic. So here we go. Just a second. Okay. Can you name please the following plot? I'm going to show you a picture and you have to tell me the names. Okay, let's see in this picture. Which plot is in this picture? Teacher, wallet, sunglasses, wallet, sunglasses, Okay, now I need a volunteer. Can you please raise your hand, please? And any volunteer who wants? Thank you, Christopher Raúl. So can you please tell me the name okay. of the cloth and the color too? Their shoes are gray. Okay, so you say gray, gray shoes. Gray shoes. Oh, okay, okay. It's a black wallet. Okay, black wallet. Thank you, black wallet. They are black sunglasses. Black sunglasses. Thank you. It's a black cell phone. Okay, black cell phone. It's a black watch. Yes, black watch. Is a black t-shirt. Black t-shirt. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, yes. Thank you. Okay, Christopher. So, any other volunteer um, for the next picture? I have another picture for you. I have Emmanuel. Thank you, Manuel. So tell me what is in this picture? Tell me the name of the piece of cloth and the color. Emmanuel, can you? Okay, teacher. Um, the orange t-shirt, it's orange t-shirt. Okay, an orange shirt. It's a brown guitar. Okay, excellent. Brown, a brown guitar. They are dark blue and white shoes. Okay, excellent. Um, it's a light blue shirt. Okay, light blue shirt. I agree. Yeah. They black sunglasses. Black sunglasses. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Any volunteer for the following picture? I have the last picture for you. Tell me, Alexandra. Thank you so much. In the last picture, I have the next pieces of cloth. So tell me the color and their name. It's Andres. Is pink? No. Okay. No. It's a pink dress. Pink dress. Okay, that's great. So in this one we have a uh, light gray and white sneakers, black wallet, black sunglasses, a black t-shirt, a black watch and a black cell phone. And in this one, Emmanuel says it's an orange t-shirt, dark sunglasses, light blue short, dark blue and white sneakers, black socks, and the brown guitar. Thank you so much. Oh, and also the Teacher. pink dress. Yes? Teacher, primero, primero se pronuncia eh, Primero se pronuncia, el, el, por ejemplo, los zapatos, ¿verdad? 
Primero se pronuncian los zapatos y después el color en inglés. Mm, al revés. O oh, como al revés. Primero el color y después los zapatos. Así es. Por ejemplo, en este caso sería light grade sneakers. O oh, light grade and white. Light grade and white okay. sneakers. Thank you. Any other question? Thank you for your question. So we say black wallet, black sunglasses, black t-shirt, black cell phone. Siempre va a ir el adjetivo antes del nombre. Like blue shorts, dark blue and white sneakers, pink dress. If you don't have any equation, let's go to the next exercise here. Just give me a second. Hold on a second, please. Here we go. We are going to listen this conversation, but first look at the picture. What do you think it happened here? ¿Qué cree que sucedió ahí? Angry. Okay, when one of the women is angry, one of the women is angry. ¿Por qué estará enojada? Le mancharon la ropa. Ah, okay, ya les ha sucedido, se les ha manchado su blusa favorita. Yes. Yes, o le echaron lejía a sus jeans favoritos. <risa> yes. También. Ah, la lejía es peligrosa, el blanqueador. Okay, so let's take a look at this conversation. It says, great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here is a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. It says, wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here is the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Mm, they are mine. Sorry. Okay. ¿Qué prenda arruinó a todas las demás? Les cambió el color. Blue jeans. The blue jeans. It was the problem, right? What color was the blouse? ¿De qué color era la blusa? Blouse is the blue is white. White. Oh. Now, okay, it was white. Now it is like blue. Ahora es celeste. Le quedó bonita, ¿verdad? No problem. Eh, then, do you have any question about vocabulary in this small conversation? Dry, for example. What is the meaning of the word dry? Any idea? Our clothes are dry. No idea? Great. Our clothes are dry. It means seco. Nuestra ropa está seca. Any other? Wait. No, it's not mine. Wait. What is the meaning of that word? Wait. Espera. 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 Okay. Espera. 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 Okay. Whose jeans are they? La palabra whose, whose jeans are they? ¿De quién es el jeans? No. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Yes, ¿de quién? Whose jeans are they? ¿De quién son estos jeans? Let's listen this small conversation and then we're going to practice. Let me know, please, if you can listen. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. 
if you have a partner with whom you can practice with, that will be great. Okay, so who wants to try in this conversation? Who wants to practice? I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to try? I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation. I have Delmi Alexandra. Thank you, Delmi. And who is going to practice with Delmi? Any other volunteer to practice with Delmi? No volunteers tonight. It's time for you to practice, guys. So any other? Thank you, Delmi Areli. Thank you so much. So Delmi... Alexandra, you are Pat, and then maybe you are Julie. You can start okay. practicing. Great. Our, clo our closet are dry. Where is my new blues? Del Meredi. What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not my white. It is my. It. This is disaster. Disaster. Oh no! All our clothes. ¿Cómo se pronuncia it? Clots, clots, all, all our clots, clots, all our clots are light blue. Where is the problem? It's this in new blue jeans. How jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. Sorry. Thank you, Delmi Alexandra and Delmi Areli. Okay, can you help me to pronounce this word, please? Guys, how do you pronounce this? Right. Right. Okay, now can you tell me, please, how do you pronounce this? Dry. Dry, okay, thank you. Jonathan, do you have a question? I participate. Ah, okay, just give me a second. I'm going to discuss a couple of words. So this one, how do you pronounce this? You have to say blouse. 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 Where is my new blouse? Blouse. Blouse. And this bird, wait. Wait. No, it's not mine. Wait. And the phrase, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. And finally, this part, here's, here's the problem, here's the problem. So thank you so much. Now I have Jonathan and who was the other volunteer? Okay, Jonathan and Julia, please. And then we're going to have Anna and what was the other one? Josué, My Josué David con Ana, pero primero Julia y Jonathan. So okay. Jonathan, can you please start? Great, our clothes are dry. Wear in my new clothes. What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blues. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it's it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all your clothes are light blue. <laughs> First, <laughs> the problem is this new new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. Sorry. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Jonathan and Julia. So we have Josue and Anna. Josue, can you please start? Great. Our clothes are right. Where is my new blouse? 
¿Qué color es ese? Arroz, las 7 de la noche cerrando. Guay. Here's a light blue blouse. Is, is it yours? No, it's not. It's not mine. Hello, Josué. Josué, can you listen? Hello, Josué. Okay, let's continue. It seems that Josué has some problems. So he said, you know, it's mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here is the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Oh, dear mind, sorry. Okay, thank you so much. So, Olga, do you have a question? Um, no, yo quería que por favor volviera a, a, a repetirlo todo así. Para um, más... Do you want to listen the audio again? ¿Quieres escuchar el audio una vez más? Um, no, solo, solo cómo se pronuncian las la preguntas y la respuesta. In this conversation. So let's see the first question here is, where is my new blouse? Where is my new blouse? And the other question is, what color is it? What color is it? Then the other question is, is it, is, is it yours? Is it yours? The other question here is, whose jeans are they? Those are the questions. Whose jeans are they? Is it okay now? Puedo, puedo leerla. Yes, of course. I need one volunteer, the last volunteer to practice with Olga. Anyone? If not, I'm going to pick someone. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you so much. So, Olga, you are Pat, and Emmanuel, you are Julie. Thank you. Um, three hour clothes are dry, are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a they, light blue blues. Is it yours? Not is no mine. Why is is now is is it a this 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 cat disaster 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 oh no our our clothes are light blue her her the problem this is this is new blue jeans how those jeans are they? Oh, they're mine. Sorry. Okay, thank you so much, thank Olga. You, thank you, teacher. Manuel. Thank you, teacher. Disaster. Disaster. It's a disaster. Disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Thank you. Okay, okay. You're welcome. Let's continue then. So let's see. What are you wearing? Let's say a look of this question. Si queremos describir lo que anda usando, usted, yo utilizo esta pregunta. What are you wearing? What are you wearing tonight? So, ¿qué anda puesto? ¿Qué lleva puesto esta noche? What are you wearing? And then you will start listing. ¿verdad? Usted empieza a listar cómo anda vestido el de hoy. And you say shorts, sandals. And you use the color. So, I am wearing blue shorts. I am wearing a blue t-shirt. I am wearing a orange socks. I am wearing a black sandals. So what are you wearing? ¿Qué anda o qué lleva puesto el día de hoy? What are you wearing? O en este momento, what are you wearing? So take a look at the picture. 
Tiene look with the picture. Le preguntamos a esta chica, what are you wearing? Y ella respondió, I am wearing a black jacket. I am wearing a gray blouse. I am wearing blue jeans. I am wearing brown boots. So, ¿están correctas esas oraciones? Look in the picture and tell me. I'm wearing a black jacket. I'm wearing a gray blouse. I'm wearing blue jeans. I'm wearing brown boots. Yes. Yes. Yes, correct. Yes, it's correct. Yes. Yes, okay. correct. Okay, Jonathan, do you have a I, question? Yes, I have any question. Tell uh, me, what is your question? I any wearing? Uh, no debe de ser their blue jeans. Oh. Ok, en esta pregunta, aquí ya es una pregunta de información. La pregunta es, ¿qué llevas puesto? Entonces, sí. en este caso, se responde así. I'm wearing. Yo llevo puesto, o yo estoy llevando puesto, y empieza a enlistar. I'm wearing a black jacket, a gray blouse, blue jeans, and brown boots. Sí. Ahora aquí lo que estamos haciendo es describir. Describir lo que llevamos pues well, is plural eh, se omite el, la a. Ah, ah yes como lleva a mai como jeans es plural entonces no necesitamos la a lo mismo sucede en boot okay. no necesitamos la a. oh that was the igual si llevara una, una, una Ok, excelente. Si llevar unos lentes también sería I'm wearing el color de los lentes, son glasses. Ya no tiene que llevar este artículo. El A en plural no lo lleva. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Un voluntario para responder esa pregunta. What are you wearing? ¿Qué lleva puesto el día de hoy? Any volunteer who wants to tell me con su propia información. Emmanuel, thank you. Tell me, what are you wearing? Um, I'm wearing a white t-shirt. Okay. I'm wearing a short brown. I'm wearing uh, brown sandals. Uh, I'm wearing a uh, white coat. The last one, can you please repeat the last one? You say, I'm wearing a white t-shirt, brown shorts, brown sandals, and... White socks. Calcetines. Okay, white socks. Socks. Okay. White socks. Excellent. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer to answer this question? What are you wearing? Yes, I'm wearing black shorts. Okay, Christopher, I'm wearing... Black shorts. What more, Christopher? No me asuste. Yes. Black shorts. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Just yes, black shorts. That's great. And then me Ah, yes, you're right. It's really hot. Uh, thank you so much, Jonathan. And then me Alexandra. What are you wearing? Uh, I wearing dress. Ah, okay, excellent. I wearing a dress. Solo que no sé cómo se dice, teacher, porque es así como tigriado. Um, okay, with dot, con puntos. Animal print. Oh, animal print. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, you can use that word. It's an animal print dress. ¿Cómo lo tendría que decir, sí? Animal printed dress. Ah, ahorita se les <laughs> Sí, teacher, por favor. Thank you. I'm wearing a um, animal printed dress. Also, dress. Así. Uh, okay. Uh, Entonces sería, I am wearing an animal print dress. Yes, I'm wearing an animal printed dress. Si es una prenda con muchos colores, 
Entonces decimos colorful. We can say colorful. Eh, como colorido, ¿verdad? Si sí, tiene muchos colores. Si sí, tiene rayas, usted dice stripe. Es rayado. Stripe. Bye. Tomorrow I'm going, you, to, I'm going to share with you this. Mañana vamos a ver esto. ¿Cómo decir cuando es cuadriculado, cuando tiene flores? ¿Ok? okay so let's baby. continue. Thank you so much, Delmi. The last volunteer, what are you wearing? ¿Por qué en unas oraciones se usa A y en otras oraciones se utiliza AN? Ok, ¿quién se recuerda? I'm sorry. ¿Quién se recuerda cuando utilizamos A, cuando utilizamos AN? En A, cuando es singular. Vaya, muy bien, vamos a utilizar AN cuando la, la siguiente palabra comience con una... Una vocal. Con un sonido de vocal, muy bien, con vowel sound, with a vowel, vowel sound. sound. Y utilizamos A cuando la siguiente palabra, después del artículo, comienza con Consonant. una consonant, consonant sound. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir un vestido anaranjado, uh, sería an, porque la siguiente palabra comienza con la consonante o, orange. An orange dress. Si quiero decir... Um, una camiseta verde. Ah, ¿verdad? Porque comienza con sure. green. Green. It will, with this sound. So green. A green t-shirt. ¿De acuerdo? Is it clear now? Y... He... Ok, Gilma. And Claudia say, I'm wearing great and black dress. A great and black dress. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. ¿Y qué pasa si es de una tercera persona? Then, vamos a utilizar la siguiente pregunta. Bye. Look at the picture. What is she wearing? What is she wearing? Que está usando ella. What is she wearing? Y dice usted, por ejemplo, fíjate que vía del mío, iba bien tipa, saber para dónde iba. Y usted, ¿qué, qué llevaba puesto? Dice, What is she wearing? <risa> What is she wearing? ¿Qué llevaba um, puesto? ¿Qué iba usando? Entonces comenzamos a decir, she's wearing, ella está usando. She is. Tell me, she's wearing. Andrés Black. Black, black dress. Boot. Okay, and she's black wearing dresses. a black dress. Okay, tell me, what more is she wearing? Black boots. Okay, black boots. Uh, pink socks. Pink socks. Pink socks. A pink jacket. No sé si es chaqueta o... A pink coat. Es como un abrigo. A pink coat. And... A black purse. Ok, excelente. And a black purse. Un bolso de color negro. So, she is wearing a black dress, black boots, pink socks, a pink coat, and a black purse. Excellent, thank you. Let's see the next guy. Let's see the next. Bah. Y you say, allá había Jonathan, pero iba bien guapo para Metrocentro. Y you say, what is he wearing? What is he wearing? Sorry. What is he wearing? Y usted comienza a necesitar, he's wearing... White, white shoes. Oh, shoes or sneakers? Uh, sneakers. Sneakers. Okay. Sneakers. White sneakers. White sneakers. 
En este, caso, en este caso sería una casa de teacher. Mm, solo sería... Sí. teacher. Sí. Ahí está utilizando dos. En la primera diríamos a teacher. Uh, sería la, la negra. Yo sé, sí, a sí. black. A black t-shirt. Luego sería shirt, nada más. ¿Qué color es? White o gray? Gray. 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 Diríamos, ya no diríamos t-shirt, solo shirt. Sure. Mm -hmm. What I'm more? Thank you, teacher. Ok, Christopher. Eh, ¿Quién más está usando él? Ah, uh, Gray también, ¿verdad? El jeans. Ok, Gray pants. Ah, pants. O oh, jeans. Hay que estudiar jeans. Jeans. De... Vale. <risa> Vamos a decir pants si el pantalón es de tela, ¿verdad? Si formal, we say pants. Okay. Si es ah, de lona, we say jeans. So, I guess jeans. Gray jeans. Habla más. A golden chain. Okay, a black bracelet. A black watch. A golden chain. And a black watch. Like this one. Okay, so you say he's wearing white sneaker. A black shirt, a gray shirt, gray jeans, a black bracelet, golden, a golden chain. Sorry, here is the article missing. A golden chain and a black watch. Teacher, guess golden chain. Oh, una cadena de oro. Oh. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. ¿Será que puede volver a repetir la, la diferencia entre, entre las dos camisas que decía? Oh, yes. Si es una camiseta, sí, sí. las que, la que no tienen botones, then we say t-shirt. Si es una camisa con botones, como la que tiene él encima, sería shirt, nada más. Y si es una camisa manga larga, we say long live. Long live. Shirt, una camisa manga larga, long live shirt, una camisa con mangas largas. En, en el caso tiempo? del jeans, sería, no, no utilizaríamos la A tampoco. No, es plural, es jeans. Es plural, ah. Es plural. Ah, ok. Any question? No okay. question. Let's go with the last exercise. So you have to tell me some sentences. I'm going to show you some pictures and you are going to tell me what is he or what is she wearing. So let's stay alone. We are we're gonna go to the next thing. Here, say sentences describing people's clothes. Vamos a decir oraciones para describir la ropa que andan puesta o que llevan puesta. Las siguientes personas. Look at the first one. What is he wearing? He's wearing black blouse. Okay, thank you. He's wearing a black blouse. Another sentence. She's wearing a black blouse. Top. Creo que se llama ese tipo de blusa. Top. She's wearing a black top. She's wearing a flower print skirt. She's wearing a flower print. Okay, she's wearing a flowery skirt. And flowery, flowery, flowery. She's wearing a flowery skirt. And she's wearing. ¿De qué color son los sneakers? Black and, and white, white sneakers. Black and white Black sneakers. Thank you. Okay, look at this guy. What is he wearing? Is she 
is wearing a suit. Wearing a black tie. Is wearing a black jacket. Okay. Uh, I know sweet. I know jacket. <laughs> jacket, yes. En este caso, si decimos pants, he's wearing black pants and black shoes. He's wearing black shoes. En general, todo ese conjunto ¿verdad? se llama suit. He's wearing a suit. A black suit. He's wearing a black suit. Él está usando un traje formal. Suit. Let's see. The next. What is she wearing? She's wearing a, a white dress. She's wearing a white dress. And brown sandals. Okay, and she's wearing brown sandals too. Thank you. Let's go with the next. What is she wearing? Um, she's wearing a wearing yellow shirt. She's oh, wearing a... En ese caso no utilizamos a. Shorts es plural. So she's wearing ah. shorts. She's wearing uh, yellow sneakers. Thank you. Yes, you're right. Uh, She's wearing yellow sneakers. She's wearing black and white sunglasses. Thank you so much. She's wearing black and white sunglasses. Yes. The last one. A purple what? She's wearing a purple. She's wearing a purple sweater. Thank you. And let's see this guy. What is he wearing? He's he wearing black cap. Okay, he's wearing a black cap. He's wearing a brown long lived shirt. Excellent, thank you. He's wearing a brown long lived shirt. Una camisa manga larga. He's wearing um, a blue shirt. He's wearing dark blue shorts. Excellent. Okay. He's wearing mm. black, green, and red socks. Y por último. He wearing uh, black and uh, white uh, sneakers. Okay. He is wearing black and white sneakers. Thank you so much. In the last picture. That is the last picture for tonight. What is she wearing? Sombrero she is wearing, teacher. Hat, yes. Okay. She wearing white blouse. Okay, she's wearing a white blouse. Yes, thank you. She's wearing a cream hat. Okay, she's wearing a light brown hat. And a black and white skirt. She's wearing a black and white skirt. She's wearing a green bracelet. She's wearing black and white sunglasses too. Okay, so describing people's clothes. How is this teacher? Skirt. Skirt. Oh, skirt. 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 Okay. Thank you so much for your help in, in these exercises. Do you have any questions? That's all for tonight. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you don't have any questions, we're going to stop here in the class. You can practice, right? Puede practicar mañana cuando vaya en el carro, right? Vaya viendo por la ventana la gente que va pasando. Oh, she's wearing y empieza a practicar o oh, I am wearing mañana a ver cómo va para el trabajo si I am wearing y empieza a describir so you can practice in that way
Thank nice. you so much. Don't forget, please, during this week, you have to complete the section number four. Don't forget about those exercises. If you need any help, you can go right on the WhatsApp group. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you so much. Good night. ¿Cómo se pronuncia until tomorrow? See you until, until tomorrow. See you until tomorrow. Yes. Yes, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.